On Tuesday, 16th of May, the Russian Defense Ministry said that they have shot down seven long-range Storm Shadow cruise missiles of Ukraine. In this video, we're going to understand what is Storm Shadow missile, who is giving it to Ukraine, and what makes this missile so capable that Ukraine is using it against Russia. The Storm Shadow missile is also known as Scalp EG. Here's the full form. It is a long-range air-to-ground cruise missile designed to strike high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy. It is primarily used by the United Kingdom and France, and it has been in service since the late 1990s. It is exclusively designed and intended for use against ground targets, such as infrastructure, military installations, and high-value targets like command centers and bunkers. The missile's primary role is to provide long-range precision strikes from an aircraft against these ground-based objectives. The Storm Shadow missile can be launched from various aircraft, including bombers and fighter jets. It is designed to have a low radar signature, allowing it to evade enemy air defenses and penetrate deep into hostile territory. The maximum range of the Storm Shadow missile is approximately 560 kilometers. But the export version of this missile has an operational range up to 250 kilometers. With this much of range, you can easily imagine that this missile is designed to engage targets from a safe distance. Storm Shadow missile also have advanced guidance systems, including inertial navigation. Inertial navigation is a method of determining an object's position and orientation using sensors and mathematical calculations. This method is often combined with other external references such as GPS and terrain reference to navigate and accurately strike its intended target. It allows the missile to navigate and keep track of its location even when it does not have access to external landmarks or references. Storm Shadow Missile also utilizes an imaging infrared seeker, allowing them to identify their target using heat signature. This combination of navigation and guidance systems pulls in data from multiple sources. With this, a more accurate and reliable navigation solution can be obtained, which ensures a high level of precision in hitting the designated target. Apart from this, the missile is equipped with a 450 kg high explosive warhead, which is capable of causing significant damage to hard and heavily fortified targets, such as bunkers, command centers, and air defense installations. Its powerful warhead combined with its accuracy and long range makes the Storm Shadow missile an effective weapon for strategic strikes and precision attacks. And that is why Ukraine is using these missiles against Russia. Now of course, Ukraine has not designed or developed these missiles. It was jointly developed by the United Kingdom and France. Both have a history of jointly developing defense equipment. The two countries have collaborated on various defense projects over the years, and the aim behind this collaboration is to share resources, expertise, and associated costs. This partnership is often referred to as the Lancaster House Treaties that was signed on 2nd November 2010 by British Prime Minister David Cameron and French President Nicolas Sarkozy. It was Britain who decided to send this missile to Ukraine. After Britain, France followed the same path. A single unit of Storm Shadow missile costs about $3.19 million. The maximum speed of this missile is classified. However, it is said to have a subsonic speed, which means it travels at a speed below the speed of sound. So here's how it works. You launch this missile from a fighter jet or a bomber, very near to the border of enemy territory. The missile then follows a low flight path. With the help of its inbuilt advanced navigation system, it maps the terrain and reaches the target area. Once it is near the target area, the missile gains altitude and takes a nose dive toward its target. Now the next question is, how do you stop a Storm Shadow missile? As I've said, it is an air-to-ground missile. That means you would need an air defense system that can launch a surface-to-air missile, that is SAM missile, or an anti-aircraft artillery gun to intercept and destroy the incoming missile. Now when Russia is saying that they have shot down seven Storm Shadow missiles in a day, then you can imagine Russia is using the S-400 air defense system to intercept and destroy the missiles. And naturally, the other side, the United States, is downplaying this report. And that is obvious, right? The United States tends to downplay reports that suggest the superiority of Russian weaponry because acknowledging such superiority could be contrary to US interests, especially when the US also has an air defense system that is THAR and the Patriot, which competes internationally with the Russian S-400. 
But then if you have read another report, it says that the US Patriot air defense system was damaged by a Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile. Even the US officials have admitted this report and they are assessing the extent of the damage. And we all know that the US Patriot system and the Russian S-400 are competitors. Both systems offer advanced capabilities for detecting, tracking and intercepting incoming threats such as missiles and aircraft. So here we get to see that Russia is claiming that they intercepted and destroyed seven Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles. And on the other hand, the United States is admitting that its Patriot system was struck by a high-precision strike from a Kinzhal hypersonic missile in Kyiv on early Tuesday. By looking at this, you can easily come to this conclusion that the United States is downplaying the Russian claim. Russia has indeed intercepted and destroyed seven Storm Shadow missiles in one day. And the reason the United States is downplaying this report is that they don't want to acknowledge the superiority of the Russian S-400 system. This is also the reason why India chose the Russian S-400 over United States Patriot and Thar defense system. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.